hello 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 it has been a little while um since uh, the last proper video see the badminton video went out a little while ago but that was only very very short and sweet so i thought today i would do a little bit of an update video because although i haven't posted anything for a while um i have been doing little bits and pieces with charlie um not enough to have put it in a like it's their own vlogs if you see what i mean um so i thought the last two or three outings um i could go over and yeah just a little update video basically because i mean believe it or not we were having issues with the ground not that long ago it's now been scorching hot for what two weeks um the ground's actually getting hard now um but i, mean, I haven't posted anything since we were meant to go cross country which got rained off um because the course was flooded so yeah it's been it's only been that was five weeks ago so yeah it's um gone a little crazy to be honest but yeah so I've got some clips and stuff from the last five weeks that I'm going to put in and chat over and kind of just tell you what's going on or what's been going on I'm actually going jumping with Charlie this afternoon which will be in another video hello girls um hi oh dear did you just fall over um she's gonna have a cough now yeah um, so that'll be in another video and we'll see how that goes um, but yeah so I will pass over to voiceover me and give you a little update of what's been going on with Charlie Of April about six seven weeks ago it's quite crazy how much has changed in quite a short space of time they still had their winter woolies on here and the grass was still a nice shade of beige whereas it's nice and a luminous green now anyway this day we were actually meant to be going to a cross-country hire but it was cancelled due to the fact that the ground was waterlogged which is really hard to believe given how hard the ground that we have is now so our ground at home dries up pretty well and pretty quickly so we didn't have that problem at home so I figured I'd put a couple of jumps up and use the one cross country fence that we have that's in working order and just kind of see what he was like I was actually super pleased with him once he'd had his first kind of oversized jump which seems to be something he always does on the first fence um, he popped the cross pole quite sweetly he didn't feel overly strong at any point or too silly so I thought I'd try the more solid fence so it's quite a sturdy fence so I pulled them out as kind of fillers because I had no idea what he'd make of them and I don't want to knock his confidence or mine if he kind of scrambled over it or knocked it or anything like that but as you can see he actually jumped it quite sweetly from trot the first time and then did a nice steady canter into it so we popped it up a little bit I mean it's still not big maybe 60 centimeters um, but I just wanted to give him something a little bit more to think about and he does jump a slightly bigger fence better I think on the first attempt coming into it once it had been put up I probably should have just stayed in trot and let him pop over it um, and he might not have run out then I think he didn't quite realize until the last minute that it was slightly bigger and then kind of panicked and ran to the side but once we were owned again he jumped it really nicely no problems and it felt like he jumped it well and it was a good rhythm coming into it and yeah it just felt really really nice and that was kind of the extent of our cross-country schooling I didn't fancy pushing my luck and putting the blocks the whole way in even though he has actually jumped them on the lunge this was still only I think the second time I jumped him so I just want to take it slow and steady and not push either of us 
So I was really pleased with him though, and I think he jumped quite nice and sensibly for his first kind of time jumping out in an open field. So that was a big tick on the list. Then if we fast forward slightly to the 29th of April, now this was a little bit disastrous. Well, maybe that's a bit dramatic because nothing actually really went wrong. Like he wasn't naughty or anything like that, but I did feel a little bit deflated after this session. Although he did actually do some reasonable work towards the end. So for context, the ride before this, which I think was literally the day before I took him up to the arena, I changed his bit to the Universal to try and I took him up the gallops. So although we didn't literally gallop up there, uh, we still had a reasonable canter and a little bit of fast work and you know he quite enjoyed himself, it was a bit of fun. But when I then rode him here, he was still in that kind of excitable mode um, in this session and he just wanted to rush. I also found out that although he liked or seemed to like the bit on the gallops, he now didn't like the bit. So even though it's the same mouthpiece that his snaffle is um, and I'd actually put it onto the snaffle ring rather than the lower ring, he still wasn't quite as happy as usual and I think like that's quite clear to see. So had I had my bit fitting kit in the car, I would have changed it back to his usual bit or maybe actually just tried something else but as it turned out I didn't have it with me so I kind of had to persevere a little bit. He was okay in it on the gallops but it is an entirely different situation. The steep hill on the gallops kind of acts as my brakes so I wasn't having to use as much rain pressure and of course it's all in a straight line so there's no bending being asked of him or anything like that. So put that into a schooling situation and it was clear that he was quite unhappy. So like I said, we persevered and I just tried to work on his rhythm in the trot because he kept rushing and, and speeding off, thinking that we were back on the gallops. But also when he's rushing, it tends to mean that he's not working from behind correctly and he's kind of pulling with the front legs on the forehand. As soon as he gets into that slower rhythm and has a bit more push from behind, you can see his neck relax and him soften, which obviously is what we want long term. So speed is definitely the enemy at this stage and I'm just trying to keep him slow and steady. I don't want him thinking he can run around on the forehand and kind of not use himself properly. So anyway, we utilised the poles that were set out to kind of help set the rhythm and eventually we got there, but yeah, not great, not horrendous or naughty, but not a great session. Uh, it's safe to say we didn't even think about doing any canter work. The quality of the trot work just wasn't there, so what's the point? There's so much to focus on, and of course, I spent most of the session slowing him down and getting him to relax, so I didn't want to add canter into the mix and kind of G him up again. I did wonder whether to even put this bit in or to just pretend like it didn't exist, because it really is awful. There are some tiny moments where you can see the softness and everything kind of start taking shape, then he just fights against the bit and my hand and loses it again and we're back into a horrible loss of rhythm and it just looks horrendous. And I appreciate it probably doesn't look like his change in rhythm is that bad, but it feels so much worse when you're riding him and you can feel him shoot forward and lose his balance and yeah, it just all kind of falls apart then. So it's very much still a work in progress and I guess rather than pretend this day didn't exist, I thought it might help others who feel like they're taking two steps forwards just to take five steps backwards because that's horses and I refuse to use gadgets because I do believe they're a quick fix and they create false results and good schooling takes time but it's so much more rewarding when you do get there and your horse will definitely benefit in the long run from not taking shortcuts. But anyway, I don't want to get into that debate right now. So I'll play a couple of his better clips from this day and then we'll fast forward a fortnight's time to our next session.
we then had two weeks off, not for any other reason than we were doing fencing at the yard. So any dry day in between the rain was spent doing that and not really spent on riding. But it was good for me to see that actually he's fine to just pick up where we left off, which is something I like all my horses to be okay with because I can't always ride consistently, whether that's because of the weather or work or just life in general. So it is really nice to not have to worry after they've had a week or two in the field that they're gonna be absolutely wild and stupid getting back on and I've got to do a load of groundwork before I can ride again. So yeah, really pleased with that side of it. And I actually didn't think about that until after I'd ridden. So the fact that it didn't even cross my mind that he hadn't been ridden, I was pretty confident that it wasn't gonna be a problem and he was gonna be okay. So although this video is from the 17th of May, I actually managed to ride him a whopping three days in a row. And this was the last of those three sessions. Just working on the flat again, slow and steady thinking about rhythm and balance for anything else and he felt really really good um, he did some of in my opinion some of his nicest work so far it felt really nice he felt nice in my hand he felt supple relaxed the rhythm was good and consistent and not rushed so this was a really really good day and after the so-called disastrous ride prior at the arena hire I was really pleased with not just this session but the other two before as well um, and that it felt like we were improving a little bit and finally kind of getting somewhere which is always nice. So I'm not going to talk over any more of this, just enjoy some of his best bits and we'll check in with the last day at the end.
Now, this is where things take a few steps forward in one aspect, but at the same time take a few steps backwards in another. Horses are very frustrating. I'd seen there was a local jumping night being held literally five minutes away on this week, and it'd been in my diary for ages, but I will admit it kind of crept up on me and suddenly it was this week, and I hadn't jumped anything on them for about five weeks or kind of done anything to prepare. It's only three pounds for a clear round so I thought let's just go and do it, chuck him in the deep end a little bit and take him and see how he is, see how he is warming up and all the sorts of things that go on with going to a venue that isn't an endurance ride. But that did mean I actually needed to do a bit of jumping at home which don't get me wrong he was brilliant and he didn't really put a foot wrong and that's kind of what I mean about going forwards, but at the same time going backwards. Because his jumping came on nicely and I felt confident on him and he felt happy, but because he was enjoying it maybe a little bit too much and getting a bit excitable, his flat work has suffered slightly. Similarly to how he was kind of in gallops mode when we went to the arena hire at the end of April, he was then in jump mode for the next few rides because we jumped three days in a row, which isn't something I would normally do, but I wanted to get the couple of sessions practice in before we went on the Wednesday evening. So yeah, I jumped him on the Monday, which is what this video is from, and then I popped a couple of cross poles on the Tuesday, and then obviously we went to clear around Wednesday. So yeah, this was our first lot of practice um, since he jumped five weeks ago. And yeah, he was really good. Nothing crazy or too big, no spreads or anything like that, just nice and simple. And my intention was just to trot and pop. If he wanted to canter and was taking me into him sensibly, I would allow him to, but I wanted to still have a little bit of control, which you can see it sometimes is a little bit wobbly. Um, so it's safe to say we are back to the flat work now after this and the clear round, and just working on the fact that just because there are jumps out, doesn't mean that we'll be using them and it also doesn't mean he can forget everything we've been doing. But I know that'll come with time and more experience and you know as always he was super willing and I'm sure he enjoyed having a jump again, in fact I know he did. Um, and yeah it's just getting him relaxed around the fences and we'll be away. And that's kind of the end of this update video. I do obviously have some more footage from the clear round evening which will be the next video and I do have some more stuff planned going forward. It's just finding the time to film and edit it, especially at the moment with so much going on. Let me know if you like this style of video with a bit of commentary or if you prefer just to watch it in peace. Thanks for watching, subscribe if you're new and I will see you all in the next one. Oh, how you open my heart, you're loving my heart in the sunlight.